Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we finally made it back to the moon. One giant leap for mankind, one gianter leap for Mario kind. That's not how the saying goes, but you get it. And today, we're going to the dark side. This is the second to last location of the game, sort of. It's all in the same hub area, I guess, but they split it up between the moon and the darker side. This is the side not touched by the sun. Like you might find in an eclipse. On the other side, that's not touching the sun. Anyway, so we only need seven more moons. And if you like almost getting the requisite amount of moons, if you could like this video, comment, and subscribe. We have never been to this side of the moon before. Dark side of the moon. All that fun stuff. This is where we will be collecting the last official moons of the game. So... Take of that what you will. I know that there is still one final destination after we're done here, but, whoa, this is it. So hopefully you enjoy what's going to be happening. I don't know how many episodes we've got left here, but this is going to be the last, like, what's a good way to say, regular gameplay moons, I suppose. We only need seven. Not sure how many I'm going to get, because I'm very bad at this game, but... Also, why is this going so slowly? Oh, there's so many rabies. What is happening? Why are there so many of you? You're not running away and giving me goodies. Okay, a little creepy. Is this supposed to be like a like a rabbit's connection thing? I don't know. But there's some stuff to do here. Some goodies to get. That is not one of them. Are these supposed to be... Vegetables? Pumpkins, maybe? These look like radishes. I do not understand what is happening. Who knew that there would be radishes on the moon? Alright, get out of my way. I did see something down here. And maybe something over here? No. This is spooky. Alright, let's hop down. Every jump feels like an adventure. On the moon. What is the point of this? Hello? Okay. Um. I don't understand. Not the first time I've said that in this Let's Play. Yeah, is this supposed to be like very foreboding? I think. Um. Okay. What is this? Oh, is that a giant carrot? <laughs> okay, I get it. Alright, I'm assuming this is just meant to be a set piece then. Leading you up to this point. Everything else seems to be pretty non-interactive. So I guess we're doing it. No idea what this is supposed to be. But I have a feeling this is going to be like some sort of end of the game boss gauntlet or something. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Yep. Who would have guessed? I also have a feeling that this is going to be a thing where I'm not going to be able to get to heal in between. Oh boy! Stop the wedding. What if you stop the wedding? Alright. Looks like we got to probably do four straight battles in a row with these goobers. It's been a while, it's been a while since we've done this actually. So hopefully I can, ooh, we do have to deal with, we have to deal with moon gravity, which may benefit us or not, who knows. We will see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the seven moons that I need to finish this off. Whoa, okay, that's a great start. The seven moons to finish this off in this specific episode. Or if this is going to be more of like a compilation type of a deal because... It's not a compilation. And this will be more of a wait and see, we'll call it that. Because... 
I don't know how well I'm going to do here or how poorly I'm going to do here. I'm, if I had to bet, I'm not a gambling man, but if I had to bet, I would, I would not. I would take the the over on poor. Oh boy. You know, already looking great. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, that's once. Viewers, could you have seen that coming? Any, any thoughts? All right, it just boots you right the heck back out. All right. We're a little rusty. I haven't done a brutal fight since the first trip to the Bowser Kingdom. I haven't done any sort of real fights since probably the final boss, and that was a long time ago. That was probably like 10, 10 plus episodes ago. So we'll try to be a little bit more careful. Our self-preservation has taken a hit in our time away. I also have to remember just how to fight these guys. That's kind of the big thing too. Whoop. I think if the more hats you take out, oh, it doesn't do anything. Never mind. I thought I thought it would. Better wait for him to do his little head slam. Just get out of the way, because he also does the spin a Rooney. So it seems like the smaller amount of hats he has, obviously, the better in our favor. Well, you can hit him from above. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. I do like seeing him kind of jump around with nothing. Oh boy, come on. No, no. Hang tight, bud. Oh, you can stun him, okay. Give him the number one stunner. Okay, well, that didn't go very well. I missed the hit cycle. Just trying to run away for now. It's very suggestive. And then of course, as you start hitting him, it does send the, the top hats are flying. There we go. It's a little tough to calibrate the the jump height because of the gravity. It's a little strange. I'm not sure I understand the gravity of this situation. Woo. Okay. One more. I think his name is Topper, by the way. I don't know the names of... I think it's... He's Topper, and then I think there's Harriet is the girl. The lady! Well, that's all I got. Ooh, this is gonna be really bad. Ooh, you gotta get out of there in a jiff. Holy smokes, he's got a lot of hats on. This is like when we have... Oops! This is when we have a bunch of uh, Goombers after us. Alright, that was not the smartest thing I've ever done. That upsets me a little bit. Just because I thought that I was doing well, and of course I get set up with... You know, a mistake that should never have happened. Should never have had such a horrible error. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, viewers. Stop beating yourself up. Oh, you can just jump on him straight away. Okay. Makes me sound British. Straight away. Okay, so he's dead forever. He turns into currency. And there's that. I don't think you get to heal in between these... So, that sucks. As far as I know, this is very much a one and done situation. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this far in any of my casual playthroughs. So, we'll see as we ascend the shaft of this gigantic root vegetable. Do you like carrots, viewers? Do you like the lies that were fed to us as children? The minerals and Nutrients and carrots would improve your eyesight. Not true. Won't turn your skin orange. Okay, here's Harriet. Don't remember how to fight her at all. She throws. She's got. She's got the bombs for your moms. Okay. Like I need to actually face her for a moment. Okay, so she just deflects all that. Whoa! Look at those big knockers. And then that just clogs in on herself. Can I stun her? Yes. Boop! There you go. Right on your noggin. I think the idea of a rabbit having long blonde hair is a little concerning. Also, the way that she laughs is kind of like Spongebob, and I don't really care for that. Just quit it. Alright, so we have, of course, the battlefield now is juxtaposed with these fire... Circles. 
I'm not sure what's a better name to call them. Alright, do your thing. Get the big old bombs out. Whoa! That was very close. And then as she is obviously recoiling from that, that's when you get her! Boom. I wasn't actually planning for this episode to be the Brutal Gaunt- Oops! That's not good. For it to be the Brutal Gauntlet, but um... Here it is. I completely forgot about it, actually. And I don't imagine that this is going to be... What you see in the final cut. I mean, you'll see part of this, obviously, but once I start screwing up... I might get through two fights here, but I'm running on, uh, oops. Smack during her oompus. Okay, she's dead. Let's do two more of these, though. We have the tall blonde, not tall blonde, tall yellow brutal, and then we have the, the purple one? Or was she the purple one? Are there three or four? I don't know. I only have one life though, so this is going to be horrible. We definitely, okay, we, we have four. Four fights. And I am very nervous. This might just be what this episode is of these fights, which is not super exciting. All right, is this the, oh, this is the blue one. Is it purple? Whoa, yeah, if that touches me, I'm dead. I don't like that. Alright, so can I get you? Ooh, he kind of has like that Dragon Ball Z Broly hair. Which I thought was Brawly for the longest time, but apparently it's not. He's such a bro. Okay. Alright, so he's making his shapes. This is some sort of a logo for like an EDM band. Oh boy. Oh. Look, you die also if you touch the outside of this area too. Whoa, he does not get... He does not get stunned by that at all. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. I don't like this. Why do they all have to have these dumb mechanics? Alright, I need to clear some of this up. Alright, so he's gonna do his weird spew. If you're gonna spew, spew into... Oh, how are you supposed to get around that? Alright, I'll see you in a bit. All right, viewers, we're back in action. We just took down Rang, Rang? No, that's not Rango. Rango's the fourth one. I don't know. Barfo? I got nothing. We only have one life though, so. <laughs> Ooh, boy. We gotta be on our best behavior. We still have two more fights to go, I think. The yellow rabbit, and then we, that's Rango. And then we have to fight Voltron. Who's ready for that? All on one life. What could possibly go wrong? Viewers, do you believe in me? Because that would make one of us. All right, here we go. Almost, <laughs> almost fell off the side. Here we go. The Rango fight. He's all alone because I killed your siblings. Hooray. I don't even remember how this fight goes, to be honest. Whoa. Don't care for that. Jeez. Just gotta kind of really get ahead of it. How do I do this? Okay. It doesn't look like hitting him does anything. I hit one of the hats? How does he have two hats under his one hat? Oh, I remember this. Alright, this is dumb. He's like, where did you go? Where's Mario? And... Okay, completely missed. <laughs> Do I still have time? Oh no! Alright. This is weird. I don't. This is the fight I remember the least. Probably also because I've been doing the other ones multiple times. It's a little tricky to get that to go though. What's his intermediate phase? Alright, whoa! Oh, I don't like it! Beers! Beers! This sucks! <laughs> He's coming right for us! There we go. Stay away from me. Yeah, goof. Yeah, this is... This feels horrible. Alright, so now he's gonna do the spinner on us. I see. 
I just love that he's covering his, his eyes like, where is it? I can't see him. It's so bright in here in this moon cave. All right. I hate everything about this. Oh no. No. <laughs> Viewers, my butthole is full clenched right now. <laughs> I, did definitely, I definitely clipped my microphone there. I heard that one. Oh, I can't even see now. The camera was just like, nope. Viewers, that's a first try though. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not feeling particularly good about the fact that I have to do the entire... The entire final Voltron fight on one life. This is going to be horrible. But if I do it, this will be the first time in Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play history that it's actually been done. So you will be witnessing a historic moment. In which case, you should show, show some respect. Right, I don't necessarily care for this. Ooh, game? Respect? Can I have another one? No? Okay. Well, that's an obvious little secret back here. Oh, Captain Toad! One last, one last mission with Captain Chode. I was on an extra floaty walk when I- extra floaty walk? Power Moon on the way. Thanks, buddy. Nice little pick-me-up. That heart was very much appreciated. Thanks, guy. Wonder what's up top. Probably... Abject Nightmare. Oh, boy. Oh, it's the Odyssey. Okay. We are now on the top of the carrot. We have made it to the roof. Oh, boy. Who would have expected this? They all have their variations of... Hee 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 ha ha ha. What about Hue Hue Hue? Hey Pepe the Frog. Okay. So... How am I doing this? Hammer? Why are there Hammer Bros? Hatless Hammer Bros at that. Hello? How am I supposed to do this? Do I shoot the bombs back at them? Oh, I hit the legs? Is that doing anything? For a second, I thought this music was going to be like... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ooh, I see. Okay. They're kind of mixing it up. So instead of using the Pokios, you get to smash them with hammers. That's fun. Now you can't breathe and I'm going to kill you without oxygen. Okay, that's one. Oh, I have a full health. I thought this would have... What was the point of them giving me the heart then if it was going to bring me back to full? Don't quite understand that. Also, this is terrifying. Oops. Okay, great. Just going to try to like spam this real quick. Oh. All right, that looks good. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, I thought that I thought that definitely got me. I, I lost control of where I was for a second. It's a little annoying. These hammer bros. They don't move very well. Alright, so that's another one down. I like how the leg just kind of flops over. That's like me when I'm trying to sleep and I sleep on the wrong side and then my leg falls asleep. I'm like, no! My leg just leaves it all prickly. Just like that. When I move, you move. Just like that. Okay, that's two brutals down. We are 50% of the way. Oh no, I hate it. What are you doing? All right, so its legs are very sparkly and scary right now. Very scary. All right. How many did you get over yourself? Build a bridge and get over it. Or across it. Okay, there we go. Just gotta hurry up. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. Onion rings of doom. It's kind of look like those those sour fruit rings you can get. I don't know what flavor they are, but... I don't remind me that. I'm just trying to spam it. Okay, good. Don't follow me! Doing the splits. Whoop! I'm not entirely sure how he made it up there, because... I wasn't... I was like in midair and I jumped twice. Does he have a double jump? No. Okay, I'm not sure. 
All right, viewers, hang in there. We got one more leg to go before we can wrap this bad boy up. I'm very nervous. Oh, he's bringing the bombs back. He's like, I love how they have the Madam Brutal, and it just looks like it's going, uh, 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 just barfing them up. I need some more space, though. Get it? Uh. Yeah, they should definitely do the the King DDD music. That'd be not appropriate because this is not a Kirby game, but it would be fun. I don't know if you can bounce the bombs back. I'm not gonna try. I'm just gonna try to land very close and then cheese it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes. There is a different. Well, the first two were the same animation, but this one is a little different. I do appreciate that. All right, toppers last. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Now I'm gonna expose you to the elements. Okay, viewers, we did it. The first time in Mario Odyssey history. Nobody's actually ever gotten to this part of the game, so I'm pretty happy to be able to share that with all of you. And now they can float into the depths of space. Big old turds. And you get a multi-moon for this. Very nice. And this is actually where I'm going to leave us off. Because in the next episode, shenanigans will happen. And we will be getting ever so close to the finale of this game. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. And I'll see you next time for more. If you like this video, if you could like it, comment, and subscribe. And check out the YouTube shorts. Bye.